Okay, so we're going to make a video on sun hitting the uh, sensor for the garage doors. So there's the sensor right there. And that sensor is the receiver sensor. It's got the green light on it. The other sensor over on this side, I can't get to the, because the, all the stuff in the way, but the sensor on this side has a yellow light on it. It is the transmitting sensor. Okay. Yellow is transmitter. So we can put our hand in front of the transmitter beam all day long and it's not going to change that light. It's going to stay on. But again, I can't do the other side. But we're going to demonstrate the fact that unless there's, as long as there's sun on that sensor, it won't close. So could you please try to close the garage door? It immediately went to, there you see the light blinking. Okay, so try to close the garage door again. Okay. Oh, the sun is hitting that sensor down there. That receiver sensor is a problem. Now, you'll see on YouTube videos, a lot of people will come up with a solution for that. What they'll do is they'll say, oh, super easy, grab a piece of toilet paper roll. Put that toilet paper roll over the sensor so that the sun doesn't shine on the sensor. You know, tape it up there, do some goofy stuff with it. Man, that looks kind of hacky looking. So go ahead and try to close the garage door. But it works, okay? Until it weakens and falls off and the door pops back open again. So then they say, here, let's put a piece of pipe up there. That'll do it. So close the garage door. And it works as long as everything's in the way until the sun hits it again. But, this is the receiver sensor. It's got a green light on it. Manufacturer says, the units must be installed inside the garage door so that the sending and receiving eyes face each other across the door, no more than six inches above the floor. Either can be installed on the left or the right of the door as long as the sun never shines directly into the receiving eye lens. So instead of putting on toilet paper, pipe, whatever, if the receiving sensor is getting sunlight, why don't we take it off and we put it back on the other side because the sending sensor never gets any sun on it. If this receiving sensor was on this side, the door would close without fail. So that's what we're going to do. So, to do that, you've got the, usually there's a coil of excess wire. It's two wires twisted together that goes up to the garage door opener main body. And what we're going to do is we're going to untwist these uh, from this vantage point. I pointed out earlier, this is the sensor, or the, uh, yeah, the yellow sensor transmitter. Next time you see this position, that will be green. So I'm going to switch those out and we'll come back and we'll see if it works. You're taking the eye off. This is the one from the other side. It's got the green light. All we need to do is to put that thumb screw back on here, which we took off. Okay. That mounts the unit. These two wires go up to the garage door opener. Kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing here because I'm in a confined area, but in a moment, we're going to see if I can twist these wires together. We're gonna neaten these things up later. Right now, we're just taking advantage of the daylight, the time of day that this garage door fails. Okay, so we are... there. Okay, now, as I pointed out earlier, this was a green, a, a amber light on this side. Remember the orientation? It's green. And it's green, that means that that beam is actually good across there. I don't have to do any adjusting. If I move it just a little bit, you can see that it turned off. But right now, um, that door will close because the sunlight's not on 
that sensor. This is the receiving sensor. It's on this side. So I'm going to step back and we're going to both show that the sun is still on. Okay. So like I pointed out, we have the sending sensor in the sunlight and the receiving sensor which was affected by the fact that the sun was shining on it is in the shade. Now this particular garage is a east or I'm sorry it's a west pointing opening so this particular sensor will never have the sunshine on it no matter what time of year we're in. So now that we have the sensors as the manufacturer has suggested we can test it. So please try to close the garage door. And safety stop. That worked. I put my foot in it. So you did not defeat anything. The safety stops are there. All the manufacturer's recommendations have been followed. You can see it's blinking up there because I, I put my foot in it and reversed the door. Okay? So, you have choices. You can play with it. You can put the toilet paper tube on it. You can put the plastic on it. Or some people go to an absolute extreme and they defeat. They take off, they take the sensors off of both sides. They tape them together, point them up at each other. They hang them up in the overhead and now they do not have a safety on the bottom of their garage door. They've defeated the safety purpose by moving it out of the way. Or, you can swap the sensors. Your choice. Thanks for watching.